Find some shitty, shitty blanket you have that you can use. This just lays in my garage, so it's good. I already kind of scratched up this fender. I had it for a long time. I never had time to work on the vehicle. I bought it ahead, so anytime I got time, I did. So here's how we go. Uh, this part you keep unless you buy the new part. If you do that, you can get them together probably, but CertiFit doesn't happen that way. I don't think they even have the inner fender. So, what we got here is you have to line this up, and then you're going to have to go around and ease it all back together to flatten it out. It's going to suck. So, I just want to warn you ahead of time. So, I had to push in here, and then you're going to have to use your rubber mallet. You have to wedge of this. There you go. Wedge that in place. So, if you can get a new fender wall tire, wheel well, tire well, uh, get it. Because this is going to be fun. We're going to have to hammer, press. Uh, if you have like a C clamp. Your vice grips, some of these vice grips are from my C-clamp, and I'm going to lock each piece together while I drill the holes so they line up. Alright? Uh, if not, you're going to be hating life. See you in a little while, guys. Okay, everybody. If you've got an extension, it's going to help a lot on your drilling because you're getting so close to the top. So, um, after you get quite enough length all everywhere to hold it pretty steady and you know where you're going to be, then you're gonna, if you're using like me, I'm using a smaller drill bit and then the, a bigger one for the size. The smaller ones go through easier. And my small one's titanium, my other one's like a carbide, and it should be working better, but it's not. Carbide should be. So, uh, what I'm doing now is just going the full length of the fender, as many as I want, like that I'm gonna punch doing them. Plus, if you use a little smaller one, you're less likely to re-drill out this hole more. If you use the full size one, trying to push the whole length, you're going to like drill it out bigger. So that's what I'm doing now. It's just punch, 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 punch. Why does it keep saying punch? I don't know. So, helps a lot get your angle with the extension. Like I said, just... Punch, 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 punch. Oh, the fucker's hot, so be careful. It's a nice thing about the extension too, is you can kind of hold it steady on this, and it won't burn your finger up. So. Ooh. Uh, I punched 30 holes, I think, or maybe less. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 holes. Uh, about 30 bolts fracture in case I broke one. We did break one, retighten it. Um, I got half inch bolts. What make they're half inch? They're half inch. Are they? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. She's got it. We're quarter inches. Uh, they have 11 inch, 11 millimeter heads, which is weird. They're usually 10 for this size, but it's fine. Um, they're stainless steel. They're stainless steel because this is in your wheel well and it's gonna rust over time you're gonna have to check on these every so often over time if you live somewhere like here we use salt on our roads most of the time so it eats shit up um threw them in i'm using loctite on them red red loctite's the unremovable it's a little better you drip it in there tighten it up i'm also using lock washers uh i don't know i was gonna glue gorilla glue all the way through the fender to hold it extra I forgot to put it on in the beginning, so it's too late now. I'm not undoing these. So if you can, take some real Gorilla Glue light strip when you're finally getting your first two. Put it in, and then lay it down. It'll hold it for you and make it a little stronger and waterproof. So, might be bad to be waterproof, though, because if water drips in there and it's waterproof, it might just sit behind there and rot away. If not, it hopefully would drip through to the outside. So, there's a little lip under it anyway, but it'll drip out. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. You, that's it. I'm going to drill all these and then I'm using 
this alloy. I think it's a carbide or something. I don't know. I don't remember which one it is. It's a more expensive bit and not the right size that I want. I want a little smaller, but I broke a lot of them off when I had to drill my tire out. If you watch my other videos, I had to drill a whole, all the studs out because I fucking broke off and shit. So that's it. We're going to get this. I'll show you how we got it. Um, I broke this. You might too. It's the battery box mount clip. It looks like this. You can see that, but it's on the other side and faces down. Um, I broke it off when you're tightening on the other side, it like bent itself out of there and bend up with this thin metal. Uh, we're gonna cut the port out. No, we don't. Um, everybody likes seeing the lady in their bathrobe. Just put some <laughs> curlers in your hair, Sonny. Get off my lawn. I'm dying my hair blue. Uh, shut up. You shut up. Okay, talk. I like to talk and I don't want to work anymore. Okay, right, guys, I'm seeing a little bit. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna start all my show, but these are difficult. They're not gonna match up as well, so you might have to drill these two. I could use again the same hole from the old one. These two are up here too high, so I'm gonna have to drill new ones. Uh, you're gonna need a little hole punch. I forgot to try that. This will work best if you're knocking the metal off. You can use the hammer. See, look, nice, nice and smooth. A little punch or a chisel. Um, and then I'm using a C-clamp, like I said, to hold it together. Because if not, when you start drilling, this plate pulls away the bracket. Okay? And I don't know if I showed you. Did we show them what we were doing with the liquid wrench? I think so. If in case I didn't show you what I'm doing on all these is. Not liquid wrench, Loctite. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get a bunch of like, you're an idiot. Don't know what you're doing. Don't know the name and stuff. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. When you work on stuff, I don't know about you. I get flustered, stressed, I'm get working on stuff while and you're just talking and gibbering. So what we do here is I put a lock washer on. Oh my god. It would help if I held the back of that. Oh, okay. Put some on there on the threads. There we go. Get the red stuff. It's the not supposed to be able to be removed. You can remove it still if you're using tools. But uh and then you're gonna have to use a wrench up top, you get the wrench? No? Yes? Oh, yeah. That's right. Hold on there. I have to get enough on you to be able to remove this clamp. You should be able to hold itself back together. Be careful on the size screw you get bolt grab that off there uh the ones i got are just long enough just good because i'm worried about some of the things mounting this being too much then the next size up was like that much more and i was a little worried it'd be just too long because they're only this but unless you beat these all back smooth together with a hammer vice grip punch off the little chads that are on there from drilling you're gonna have trouble getting them back in uh it's really an easy job as you're watching it's just a lot of time consuming that's it uh Keep going, I'll show you each step as we go and what I'm going to do next. Uh, like I said, if you had gotten some Gorilla Glue in there and just a little, real thin strip, this should expand. Uh, it would probably help a little too, but I might be glad I didn't do that because it waterproofs it. And now the water will be able to run through if water gets in there, which it can. Alright, see you guys in a little while. I'll show you what else I stepped up to. Alrighty, got it all together. Everything's tightened up. You gotta slide it from above. And there's lots of things you have to work around. You gotta get this here. Make sure that goes above there. Can you see it? Kind of. This cable. Yeah, right. This is the hood release cable. See it? That's the hood release. <laughs> and make sure it goes through this opening. And you gotta cut it just like that. Okay? And you gotta get this here. And it goes above. It's very fit when you're putting it there. Oh, especially if you're damaged. I'm going to have to bend this down, I think. You might have that too. I'm going to have to get a pry bar in here and bend this part down or sledge because that's going to be in the way there. Horn. Oh. So it's not as important, but my horn sounds like crap anyway. But yeah, if not, it's not going to mount correctly. So we're going to pause a second. We're going to get a pry bar. Mm -hmm. Are we on? Okay, everybody, you're gonna have to, if you took them all off like I did, unless you wanna mark each one paint or something, that would suck. You're gonna have to go over there and look what you got. You need these little ones that are 10 millimeter. 
they got pointy tips and they got a crown full cap like flange a flange head and then you get it slowly really difficult you almost need another helper yeah to get one to get it where you need it there's three of these up here you gotta get it just right and you want to get at least one in halfway so it holds your thing for you don't put any of them all the way you're gonna have a lot of problems with these if you got hit like i did there's things bent and it's just a tight fit getting it back together it's made to be tight so i'm doing like that so i can wiggle still with the other ones so what we need is a giant this is a 13 for the back Millimeter, and they have the number 98 on them because they're a flat. The other one is like a sharpened. This one get. It's really tight. Hold this for a second, homie. Do a different thing. We're gonna put two of the little ones on because one of them isn't quite enough. So we need two of these guys in. Give it so it doesn't give as much. Okay, do me a fair grab from that side the fender. Mm -hmm. Push it forward a little. There we go. Get it in there. Tighten it much more than halfway. Just you want it to have gift still. Uh, it'll give too much and you'll see. You'll just have it difficult with it. It's running itself sideways. Nope, oh, it just bent from the car damage. So, you gotta fight with all that shit. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm gonna give it another try now. So we got that thunder on. I'm gonna have to use like a pry bar while doing this now. On some of these pieces, things are tight. Your stuff's probably bent a little. Yeah, I think my actual radiator mount might be bent just a little bit. But now I have to bend this out. And I was hammering on it to get the body, two body pieces together. So take that. As much as you can, you want to use like a rubber mat. So you don't damage it. There you go, it's kind of... See that? Alright, let's see what we got now. Good lord, it's very difficult, people. You're going to have to use all your weight to get this on. Now oh, let go back a little. I know. Trying to. But like I said, it kind of sucks, it's time consuming, but doing this yourself for 120 bucks, unless you have to buy tools, I need to spend more, but 120 bucks with the bolts and everything and the body piece from CertiFit. It's not going well. to, yeah. What a bad angle. All right, we're gonna try and go for this bottom one. Pause it, I'll figure out. Yeah. Okay, everybody, here was our problem. Easy thing, come here, show them. This part of your new fender, your fender part has to be behind the lip on the shock housing uh, arm. See it? The upper shock arm. And we were right in front of it. So it was just that little bit of distance measurement that you couldn't get it on. So you have to hold it, lean it in, and push it like angled down like this and then fold it up. So and I made a dent on it, damn it. It's not a big deal. It's a work truck. It's got dents everywhere. If you're worried about dents, pay someone a lot of money to do your body work. Sometimes they dent it and then they repair it in their thing with Bondo and body filler and stuff and repaint. So that's what you got to do. So got one of those on. We're going to get the bolts for the back there, which are 98s. 
As you can see, we're almost dead on with them now. And still tight fit. Oh. I'm going to go for one of these and then we'll adjust that. So number, I wanted to say P or for your front fender. Maybe not on yours, but I'm guessing they should. And yeah, we're almost right in it. Let's loosen that up. It's not as tight now. Ooh, don't go away. Okay. So, like I said before, don't tighten everything down. I'm doing it now. I'm getting a little stressed. Should not going perfect. So, all right, let's get this bad boy on. 13 millimeter for these big boys. Get it in there, lift it up a little. And we are all the way up with that, so keep that bolt in. You can lift right here. Everything is still really tight, guys, so no matter what you do, don't suck. I know I'm just rambling. You may not want to watch it. You can always fast forward, but this helps people that don't have any clue what they're doing, what you're going to run into. So. Okay, right, guys, I'm going to tighten this one. We're going to adjust. You'll see in a few once I get the next one on, I'll come back. Use your hand. You take the glove off. You